Hey guys, Mike here at Amazing Tutorials, and welcome to part um, six of our uh, Space Gun video. Okay, all right. So we're going to start to do some texturing now. I don't really want to follow my reference image, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag select the whole thing. We're going to hit Control G to group it, and from this view, I'm just going to raise that up until it's sitting on my grid line and it looks like we didn't get everything or we have duplicates so let's see as you saw in the last video there are some yeah there you go there are some uh, phantom items going on here right which is weird so i'm going to go and select all of it at a delete by type history modify freeze transformations we still seem to have some nerves lines going on here and apparently now they're gone so that's cool so we're gonna drag select our object let's kind of move it towards our grid okay now we're mainly going to use shaders here, so we're not going to UV and, uh, and texture because that would take forever. Um, we are going to start off with, with some basic materials. Now what I like to do uh, is use shiny objects and uh, if you know my videos you know that I often do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the whole thing. I'm going to right click assign new material. MIA material X material tab presets chrome replace so that's going to be my base and then from here I'm going to start to tweak and change and so forth okay so I want uh, let's see my lines so these to be chrome uh, sorry copper so I got three of those so right click assign new material MIA uh, presets copper and replace okay I want this section up here right and then mainly the inner section so these faces to be glass so I'm gonna right click assign new material MIA uh, presets glass solid where do you go right there and replace okay then we are going to add some rubber elements to it so we're going to take let's see we're going to take our handle right click assign new material mia presets rubber and replace there we go then we are going to take these components and these. All right. Right click assign new material. We'll do the same MIA. We'll do a preset and we'll do satined metal and replace blend 75%. Okay. Then we're going to take these and no, not that. These, so we got all of those and those. Right click, assign new material, MIA presets. And let's see, we'll do glaze ceramic and replace. Okay. Then we're going to take these little rod sections. So I'm going to go to my polygon menu, mesh and separate. I'm going to take that one and we'll do that. And 
that and that. And those sign new material MIA presets and we'll do a pearl finish. Then we'll take this spring, sign new material MIA. Uh, let's see presets copper and blend 50% and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up a quick scene so we can do some lighting and we can do a trial render and see what we want to tweak okay so I'm going to take a polygon cylinder I'm going to hit R I'm going to scale that out quite large we're going to set subdivisions to 40 right click at a face and actually, we don't have to do that. We're going to go to our poly cylinder one. We're going to do zero on caps. Right click face, delete the top face. And then we'll take those faces and delete them as well. We're going to right click at object mode. We're going to go to normals and reverse normals. Right click at edge and select that edge and we're going to go to edit mesh and bevel right click object mode Let's find our poly bevel. We'll increase that and we'll increase the segments. And then we're going to right click, assign new material, and we'll do a Lambert. And we'll change that to white. Then we're going to create a lights area light. Hit W to pull that up and hit T on your keyboard to bring your pointer down, if you will. And then we're going to hit 7 on our keyboard. This will kind of give us a sense of where our light is at. Okay. So we're going to hit R. We're going to scale this guy up a bit. And let's bring the intensity down to 0 0.1 for now. W to pull that up. And bring that out a bit. Let's do 0 0.3. Okay. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate. Pull one over here and move that in. Control D to duplicate. Move one over here at this end. I take this guy. Control D to duplicate. And move that over here. Okay, let's find a suitable render shot. Turn on our resolution gate. And bookmark it. If you bookmark, edit bookmark, and new. And apply and close. And then we're going to go into our render settings. Go to mental ray. In our common tab, I'm going to set the image size to HD 1080. Quality tab, we'll do 1.5. Indirect lighting, we're going to set up global illumination. We are going to select caustics. Um, we're going to use image based lighting as well. And we're not going to select final gathering yet okay let's select a file that we can use so um, i'm just going to look for an hri file and we'll do 
this one. And then I'll quickly pause the video. I'll do a test render and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, I did the render and there's one little thing I want to change uh, before I show you. And that is the rubber material on the handle. It's just a, a bit too black. There's no, no reflection or anything going on there. So I'm going to right click assign new material. We'll do a, um, a blend material and we'll make that black and I'll bring the reflection down a little bit let's say 0 0.3 okay now obviously you can spend as long as you want on this object and you can tweak it and UV it and texture it and so forth um, that's up to you um, this is already a six part uh, video and I don't want this to take 10 hours so maybe on my own I'll uh, play with it but as far as the tutorial goes uh, let's see if we can get this render shot out and uh, I'll click render and I'll see you guys in a sec all right guys well there it is there's our uh, final render at least uh, final as far as this series uh, are concerned uh, so I hope you enjoyed the, the series and uh, that said you know uh, I really appreciate your support on my channel and I'd love to see you guys on my next videos all right Bye.